Joining me is an opponent of The Voice, Warren Mundine, former National President of the Labor Party and advisor to two Liberal Prime Ministers. Warren, the voice of reason. First, Marsha Langton. Are you surprised that Langton has such a big role in designing The Voice when she has been so abusive to people who cross her path? Look, I'm not su surprised by her comments. That's not to say they uh, they they should be let, let off for creating such evil comments in the first place. You know, bringing eugenics in it is is a throwback to the 1930s and the 40s. Uh, where Nazis were uh, putting Jews and gypsies and uh, Catholics and other people into the uh, and, and uh, people with autism and that into the gas chambers. Now this is th to use such a vile comment is you know and following that up after Noel Pearson's vile and uh, racist attack on the National Party and 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 uh, Jacinda Price, Senator Jacinda Price, it's just disgraceful. This is, you know, really dragging it down uh, to the gutter. And, of course, we, we know that, uh, that Dr Anthony Dillon was uh, verbally abused in the Qantas lounge. Uh, and so, so we're starting to, you know, the, the people who are talking about bringing us together, the people who are designing this, this so-called voice the parliament uh, are the ones who are out there, uh, you know, doing do, doing the racial attacks and dividing us. It's so extraordinary and so hypocritical, and I, I can't believe Marsha Langton doesn't know what she's doing. But anyway, the abuse has a purpose, Warren. I I I fear, right? It's clearly meant to shut, uh, scare people into shutting up, uh, or else they'll fear that they'll be smeared throughout the country as a racist. And as soon as you say I'm not a racist, everyone says, "Ah, you are." You know, it's it is. It, I think it could be very, very effective. What are you picking up here? I look. I think it can be very effective as well. I know uh, conservative Aboriginals who uh, don't support the voice, but they're they're too nervous to come out and say it in public. They're going to do that in the polling booth. So that's what I say to all Australian voters: if we if if we uh, want to bring uh, and unite Australia, the voice is not the way to do it. It is dividing us. It is bringing out racial attacks, and 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 also when you look at how. Uh, the government is going to be uh, running the program. You just mentioned that the yes gets tax concession, no doesn't, and that the uh, and that the education program they're going to be running out there is just about how how wonderful the vote is. So the whole thing's a fraud. It's 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 fraudulently run. Uh, the the government is 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 running a. a a, a false campaign and trying to divide this nation uh, over something which is built on a fallacy. And the fallacy is that Aboriginal people do not have a voice to Parliament. And they do. There are people elected across Parliaments across Australia, Territory, States and Federal. And there are also Aboriginal advisers within each of the offices of, of the government and the opposition and the, and, and the crossbenchers. Uh, there's also committees that uh, have been set up to each of the uh, important areas for Indigenous people, such as the health department, the, the, uh, the uh, legal service, etc., and sector, etc. In fact, I'd say there's more Aboriginals sitting in the public service there uh, advising the government than there are actually Aboriginals out there working in other areas. I, it, it is, you know, this is just uh, becoming ridiculous. Uh, and, it's, and it has no legs to stand on. But the worst part of it all is the abuse that uh, Senator Jacinta Price and, and, and uh, Dr Anthony Dillon and myself and others receive in the social media and across uh, uh, areas the uh, racist, dreadful abuse that people who of the Yes campaign are chucking at us is just uh, uh, un, uh, just incredible. You know, I, I, I've taken photos of all these tweets and all these attacks, and and, and I'm running out of uh, running out of space in my computer for them. It, and this is and we haven't even really started the campaign yet. Well, it's so weird. You know, when you say that, uh, Warren, I'm always you know, sort of reluctant to, 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 to mention all this for fear of scaring other people off supporting the no case, which I think is a moral one, no to racism. But the point is here, one of the things about it is 
the whole idea of the voice we're told, among other things, is to is to end racism. And yet we see this racist, these racist attacks on you, on Dr. Anthony Dillon, and on Jacinta Price. And I don't see, like, I haven't heard Noel Pearson being disowned by many people at all on the left that claim they're very hot on, or very against racism. I haven't heard them condemn him. And I haven't heard them condemn... Uh, Marsha Langton either. What is going on here? It seems well, uh, to me it's about the principle. It's not about the principle with them, not about the principle, it's about the side. Well, it's about race baiting uh, people that don't agree with them. You, you're seeing it through the, the corporations at the moment. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I, I was approached in regard to speaking at a large corporation uh, function uh, so that we can educate them about the voice. They've soon, uh, you know, soon later on, they they uh, pulled out of that uh, of us, uh, Jacinta Price and myself being there. So far as I can see, within these large corporations who are going to be funding this program and educating their staff, is 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 propaganda, and that they that they are, uh, are, are you know lying to their staff. I, I will say, in regard to the voice, and 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 I just find this incredible that some of these large corporations Operations, some of these people I know working in business and that with them, uh, I have, uh, you know, bit, you know, drunk the Kool-Aid and, and rather than having a, a proper debate where you listen to the no and you listen to the yes and then people can make up their own minds and that. In fact, I say to the staff of these large corporations, uh, don't worry. The good news for you is your corporate bosses and these so-called educators will not be able to go into the polling booth with you and so you can vote any way you like. That's the way... That's so true. But that's the thing. They abuse you and the companies make a rational decision, I suppose. They think they don't, don't want their brand getting the same abuse and people stop buying their stuff. That's what they're thinking. Warren Mundine, you would be a, a brilliant man in charge of a, an organisation to run the No Case. We still don't have one, and I'm hoping that you'll be tempted to do exactly that. Warren Mundine, thank you so much for your time.